Hi, my name is Kai Wan. Today we're going to share with you guys something really special because I didn't see any people online sharing these info. This is the brand new Head Plus Pro V3. So this is the version 3 from Etachrome. It's a brand new product. It just released and I just ordered and pre-ordered it actually. And we also have a, a laser module for faster tracking setup and a visual module, vision module for face tracking so this is like a crazy dope setup if it works so i bought these product with my own money no any sponsor so i just share with you guys what i think and is it good or bad who knows let's do the unboxing first okay so what the heck is this oh we have a 15 mil rod this is around like 15 centimeters long like aluminum rod this is kind of heavy actually Okay, we have some Allen wrench over here, Velcro strap, some different countries, uh, universal plugs. Okay, so this is the AC-DC adapter. It's a 22.5 watt adapter, so DC output. And we have a huge thumb screw. And this is the Head Plus Pro V3. This is gigantic. Wow. Oh my god, the plastic in the box is already shattered. Camera off, head one off, head plus on. Okay, so I remember we just double press and we can screw it on automatically. Let's try. What? Leveling. Oh, what the heck? Lots of error code just pop out. Leveling. What the heck? Head plus is not happy at all. Yeah, so we can fold and unfold the Head Plus Pro like this, and we can go in even further like this. What the heck is this? <laughs> MPF battery plate is already on, and DC in, camera port. Maybe this is the shutter trigger for time lapse link. Who knows what the heck is think? Vision is for the vision module we are going to play later. Laser module is another attachment we are going to test later. Focus and zoom module, they are still working on it. I ordered one, they said they will send out ASAP after they finish the test. And looks like we have double cold shoot on top of the Head Plus. And let's try to put my camera onto this Head Plus. Yes, yeah, because I'm pretty lazy, so I want to put a quick release plate on here. So we don't need to like tighten the knob every single time to find the like perfect alignment. So this is a quarter screw already on the Head Plus. And in the box, this is a 3 8 screw, so you can change it if you need to. Yeah, because I have a long camera plate over here, so we can just balance by placing the camera front and back. Okay, perfect balance. So we still have lots of room to balance this head plus, so you can use maybe like a larger, wider, taller camera, and it will still work. The beeper, the sound is so special. Two key points as fast as possible like this. And let's speed set to 100 and acceleration to zero. Like, wow, super duper easy to control. Oh my God, this is like filmmaker's dream setup. So right now it's at 100% speed. I definitely see lots of shaking Yep, so let's lower the speed and try again, maybe like 60% speed. Etachrome setup is not meant for those high speed control because if you think about motion control, you think of those like crazy motion arm, robotic arm that's super high speed for super high speed cameras. But these Etachrones are meant for those like smooth macro or like close up. A product shot so this is not meant for those who super high speed like 2000 frame per second videos let's unbox another product this is the laser module laser module is for quicker tracking setup so this laser module looks like it's connect with the internet port and this is kind of heavy actually so how to attach this where should i attach this where should i attach this how to attach this over here what the heck is this like this this is shaking all over the place i don't like etachrome 
what the heck they don't provide you any user manual and they ask you to like scan the QR code to check out the manual page but there is no any laser module manual in this page so if I tilt the camera down the laser module will flip upside down never mind let's just try to use the laser module and track something what the heck is going on what the heck is going on head plus is not happy at all did i just said adachrome cannot do high speed actually we can do high speed the head plus the tracking speed the, the panning and tilting speed is super duper fast so if we push the slider manually because the information is still uh, captured by the motor module although the motor module is not that fast but we still have some information to like link everything together so yeah we still can do some kind of high speed motion over here this is actually pretty good so with the laser module the tracking setup is so fast so right now if i'm going to track the camera we just point the laser at my camera and it's tracking my camera holy smoke this is actually insane okay so this is the user manual did i just said adachrone don't have user manual okay so this is the vision module in the box wow this is a solid piece so little screen dc in hdmi in and hdmi out so we have hdmi loop out if we want to we also have a usb type a underneath power button on the top link port and audio out wow what the heck we have audio out okay so we have some velcro belt we have an audio cable what the heck why we need audio cable for this oh this is not the audio cable this is the vision module link cable and we have several allen wrench size and few screws to modify our head plus and we also have a hot shoe mount over here if we are not going to use the visual module with the head plus if we are just going to use the vision module by itself, we can mount it on top of the camera to have like a wireless video transmission system. Okay, so first we're going to modify this part, take off this MPF battery plate. Now let's try to screw the vision module onto the, uh, what the heck? Where's the mounting point? Oh, what? It's like this? No. Interesting. Looks like the screw is so much smaller than the screw hole because the screw holes is in different size. This vision module is like hanging around over here. We cannot even mount it correctly. Battery plate in. Okay, so this is kind of like a big problem because if we are not going to secure the vision module with the battery, this is going to hang, fall, and like shake around all over the place. We need to contact Adachrome to fix this. Vision module booting time is kind of longer than other Adachrome setup. So, yep, okay, it's now on and HDMI in. Interesting, so this vision module is actually kind of like a Wi-Fi module and you can send Wi-Fi signal directly to your smartphone to view your image or you can send this Wi-Fi image to your local network, like router, that kind of stuff. And link it to your smartphone or other device at other locations. Okay, so vision module is connected to my smartphone right now. So we have a, like a live view on my smartphone. Okay, so in the app, we can set the tracking sensitivity and set the dead zone and we can track something right now. So if I select the object tracking and we can select the camera and press done right now, this camera will track the camera over there and no matter how I move the slider it should slowly track the camera yep looks like it just missed <laughs> so right now the tracking sensitivity maybe is a little bit too slow so let's set it to fast and let's see any is it better or not yeah, slightly better. If the object is moving, like some people walking or like object moving, yep, yeah, then this vision module is the essential. So right now let's try the face tracking. Yeah, face tracking. Let's go. Face tracking. 
face tracking is what the heck is going on. It's kind of slow. The sensitivity. I don't know. But it's kind of slow. You want track me? It's kind of slow, actually. Okay, lots of troubleshooting. The vision module right now is connected to my local network. Uh, if we connect directly to my smartphone and everything will just freeze and the app will just crash. No matter which smartphone I use or even my Samsung tablet. Yep, all of them crash. Leave the vision module alone. Let's just play other stuff. Maybe like vertical videos. So vertical video, we don't need to rebalance everything. It's already balanced, so we can change uh, horizontal video to vertical in like three to five seconds. This is a crazy good. We don't need to buy those L bracket and like change and screws on change in orientation. This is built into the Head Plus V3. So like three seconds, vertical video. And three seconds, no, actually around five seconds in like regular cinematic video. So the head plus is definitely a plus, but the, uh, the focus module, no, this is the laser module. Laser module is like clunky, shaking around, no any place to s like, firmly attach and just shaking around. So when you are in like real, like crazy tilt angles, the laser module will just shake and like, I don't know, just tingling around this. I don't know, we should ask Adachrome, what the heck is this design? And next, the vision module. Hmm, I don't know, what the heck is this too? Because one screw, the size is totally different. We cannot even mount this vision module securely. The vision module barely works right now. Who knows? Maybe my network is broken. Who knows? Or something we need to set up correctly. Who knows? We still need to like figure it out by myself or ask Adacrone again. <laughs> Maybe my problem or the product is actually trash. 